What is going on YouTube? Today we're going to be learning how to replace a fuel filter in a 2002 Expedition. This will work in any year model. So a 1997 to 2003, early 2003 F-150, um, as well as 1997 through 2002 Ford Expedition. It may work on the 2003s also. Now, this is the 4.6 liter Triton engine. And right here, here's your driver's side. This is the driver's side. This is your fuse panel, your power distribution box. And now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna relieve the fuel pressure so that it, the fuel doesn't come squirting out if you just drove the car like I did. Um, so what you're going to need to do, you're going to need to go to your manual. Uh, in my manual, it's page 193, I believe. Yep. For, uh, this, this is your, uh, it's your layout of your fuse panel. So this is towards the front of your car. So what you're going to do, you're going to turn your car on. So now you can start the car. Go ahead and start the car. So now we're going to look for the fuel pump fuse. As you can see, that's number 18. So now we're going to look on this. We're going to find fuse number 18. And as you can see, it's right there under the relay number 301. So now we're going to lay these beside each other working with myself here so you have this right here and then you have this right here so you look there's a few, uh, relay 301 and then there's the fuse eight, number 18 so now you're gonna get a pair of uh, needle nose pliers just like this nothing much and what you're going to do is you're actually just going to go in there pull on it Grip it down, make sure you don't grip the red stuff. I always do that. Let's see, got the red stuff. I'm gonna get the fuse. You just yank it. I'll slow up, get that. Alright, awesome. So, now, um, you're gonna. That was my manual. Uh, now you're gonna locate your fuel filter. Now, on the Expeditions and the F-150s, the fuel tank is da -da -da -da, right there. Awesome. So, I'm on the uh, driver's side door right now. Um, and so basically, you're just going to work your way up. And you're going to follow the fuel line. And if you see this, it'll be marked fuel line. It'll usually be blue. There we go. Right there, it's called fuel. That's upside down for me too. So now you're just gonna follow this. Oh man, nice and dirty. Nice frame. All right, um, you're just gonna follow this. Once you see your fuel filter, you'll know it because it'll look exactly like the thing you got at the auto store. See right here. You've got these little things like that holding your fuel filter in. And basically, all you have to do is press down on the big side, and then it'll pop out. That just prevents fuel lines from disconnecting from the fuel filter in transit. So, as you can see, we got that one out. Now there's another one over at this side. Now this is going to be a finesse right here. Just pop your finger in there. Push down. Or up. My bad. You gotta push up and then push up on like the winged part. And this is a pain. For it. Ah. Ah, there we go. You'll hear a little clink, like the sound of two pennies going off. So now you got your little tool you got from the. Uh, Auto parts store. Shit, where's my tool? 
Mine too. Also have your safety goggles out. Safety's number one. Sergey. Okay. When you're working with fuel, you don't want fuel in your eyes. So, basically how we're going to do this, you put this over there, over the fuel line. See that right there? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to push the yellow tool towards this, and I'm going to push that towards the yellow tool so that it separates. Right as you do that, make sure that you hold up the fuel line, prop it up on something so that fuel doesn't come spurting out. As you guys can see, I have removed the one fuel line, the one towards the front of the car. Now, I will scoot over here. There's gas all everywhere, but you know, as long as it's not in your mouth or in your eyes, you're fine. That doesn't kill you, make you stronger. Anyways, um, I grab my little tool. Boop. Bracket's nice and rusted. Yep. Love it when it rusts. Gosh, thank you. Thank you, iron three oxide. So, I guess I'm going to just show you guys that. You can take the fuel filter out. Um, uh, I recommend taking these little red boots that come on your uh, other fuel filters. And, um, ew. Gross, this tastes bad. Um, taking them off, they look like this. Um, of your new fuel filter, and um, put it on your old one so that fuel doesn't squirt on you. As you can see, we got this red thing on there. Um, we got the fuel line disconnected. We got the fuel filter itself unseated from its um, familiar home the bracket the brackets all rusted out um, you're gonna want to keep this red boot on there just so that fuel doesn't squirt everywhere and so I bring us back to here all right guys as you can see I have both fuel lines disconnected now um, through the help of some persuasion let's not talk about it um, pop this last fuel line up because it's connected directly to your fuel tank. So gravity, because it's the lowest point in your fuel system, it will pull the fuel downward. Um, next, we have our new fuel filter. Um, now, I'd eyeball and make sure that they look the same. They look the same. All right, awesome. Um, next, take care of your flow not your juice flow not your hair flow but your flow so see how it says flow you want it pointing towards your engine towards your engine all right um when in doubt just mount it the same way um as you can see we got this little lip towards the um engine bay um next we're just gonna reseat the uh, fuel filter. Make sure to take off both of your red caps if you haven't already. I'm just going to reseat it nice and easy. Make sure not to cut yourself. This gasoline and cuts do not mix well. Um, next, we're going to find the old fuel line. Alright, so we have this here. We're just going to mate it it's gonna make a nice little click noise for you um, then you're gonna do these little weird doohickeys honestly they're pretty easy all right now I can show you guys this one this fuel line so I can show you the other one it's literally the same thing don't worry um, why why you don't give a teenager a camera. Anyways, um, by the way, guys, yeah, your frame actually works as a, uh, not only structural part of your car, but also a, um, light mount. 
Anyways, so you take this, you just push it over. Nice little click. And you just, see here? Just get some persuasion on it. And there we go. Awesome. Now, here's the fun part, guys. I'm gonna take back my flashlight. Thank you very much, Ford. Um, so we got this fuse, right? Um, woo. All we're gonna do is go back, replace it where it was, right there. Nice and snug. Awesome. Just take a look, make sure that there's not any water while you're in here. Oops, sorry. Yep. Now you got your nice dirty hands. Sick, bro. Alright. I'm gonna wash these hands so that I don't get... No, I'm just joking. It's not a Ferrari. Come on. So, now you take your key. You prime your fuel pump. So you just do this. Two. Three. By the way, I'm changing the ignition position from off to on. Okay, off to on. That way your fuel pump doesn't run dry because, um, as you can tell, um, you probably couldn't tell, but um, the fuel pump runs and lubricates itself with um, with the fuel that's in the system. Now, um, you might want to do this. Put this back in. That's nice. Thank you. Fine, sir. Awesome. So now we have some nice new filter. Clean that fuel all nicely. 